Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I want to first apologize for my raspy voice because I'm still getting over being sick, but this has been a video that I've been wanting to do for the past month or so. Um, I have three kids and my two eldest are five and almost four and they have been potty trained for quite some time now and my youngest is my son Dylan who is now going to be two and a half at the end of this month and he is fully fully potty trained meaning day and night. So with that said I wanted to, I mean I've been excited to do this video ever since I did my last potty tips and tricks video I want to say back in 2011 yeah wow 2011 so I will link that video somewhere here in this box as well as down below and probably at the end of this video if you are interested to see because I really talk more in depth about the signs of before potty training um, my daughters and my whole experience of what I went through and how that worked for me and from the views on that video it seems like it helped a lot of people which I'm really happy with and I mentioned in that video that I wanted to follow up with one sharing my experience with my son so now fast forwarding to almost two years later I'm just really excited to be able to do this video for you guys and mainly hoping that it helps a lot of you mothers or parents in general out there or anybody that takes care of small children um, just sharing my experience I'm by no means saying that what the way that I've done it or what I'm sharing is the right way or the only way it's just the way that has worked for me and I'm just hoping that I could help anybody that's watching this video so the first thing I think that's important is to be observant of signs and cues from your child so every child is different the, my experience with all three of them was completely different so you cannot really compare between your own children or between your child and another child because every child is different so I think the most important thing is to observe those cues from your child meaning when they're ready to sit in the potty so maybe they're expressing interest and you have those little potties you know in around in the house and I had them already previously for my kids so I think it's good to introduce it as early as you can just the idea of the potty seat the little potty chair or whatever you want to call it. I actually did suggest this in the last video to have the potty chair or potty seat in each bathroom of the house and take your child with you to the bathroom and let them see you use the potty or if you have older children I'm sure they will observe that much faster and if they do express interest to sit on the potty then let them do that and Granted, they probably won't go right away or for a while, but as long as they are introduced to the idea of the potty seat and what it's for and how to sit down on it and just get familiarized, I think that's the most important. For Dylan, he was able to use the potty, I think already, I want to say he was under one and a half. Over one, definitely, but one oh, under one and a half. If I look back to my pictures then I would probably know exactly and I know that I mentioned all these details with my girls in that previous uh, potty training tips video but I cannot remember for the life of me um, the exact ages and so forth but like I said it differs with each child. For my two girls they were able to use the potty chair for a couple of months um, before they transitioned into the big potty seat. However with Dylan he never went in the potty chair. His first pee was in the actual toilet but with a potty seat on top. So I think for him he was not interested in peeing in the chair because he had seen his sisters use the big potty and we have something like this and this is like a guard for boys so that really helped you know with trying to initially potty train him sitting down before standing Aside up. Aside from that really important is like a, um, a step stool step stool in each bathroom too that's helping them um, assisting them getting on the toilet as well as to use the sink to wash their hands while they're supervised the big question how did I train Dylan so he went initially on the potty several several months ago and he would go um, occasionally it wasn't consistent so for each of my children it was different for Emily she potty trained like straight through her first pee in and within that week she was fully potty trained. For Dylan and Malia, it took them some Since time. Since it was inconsistent, I, I just knew in my gut that it wasn't time 
that they weren't I ready. I did try on occasion to put um, Dylan in underwear for the morning and there was just way too many accidents and I could just see that he was not able to control his bladder, that he wasn't ready. Finally, at some point last month or a few weeks ago, I decided, okay, today is the day I'm tired of buying diapers. I said I was running out of diapers and I said, I don't want to buy diapers anymore. Let's give, give him a little pep talk and he's old enough to understand and then he knows what the potty is, he knows what it is to go in the potty or on the big toilet. So I put him in underwear all day and all day he went to the potty and he only had one accident. This method works mainly if you're home or if the caregiver or anybody that's watching your child. I don't really know specifically how it works in daycares but maybe you have somebody that's watching your child at home or maybe you are staying at home and watching your child. So that is the way that it worked for me with my second and third because I was on them around the clock. I was consistently asking them for my son specifically. Do you have to go to the potty? Let's go to the potty. So within that one day, he must have went to the potty 12 times or more, at least more than a dozen times. And doesn't matter how many times they go in the day, just keep bringing them to the bathroom, keep letting them drink fluids and just keep bringing them to the bathroom, just letting them learn to what it is to control their bladder and to go in the toilet all day without you know peeing in their diaper or whatnot. That's the best way that worked for me, just around the clock, full day, potty training, consistent, consistent. And another thing that worked for me was to make a potty chart. And I did this for all three of my kids. I kept them actually, um, this one was Emily. I just got these charts from the dollar store, something like this. It's like dry erase so you can use a marker with it. Um, and I just converted it. It was actually a chart and I converted it into a potty chart. So every day she would go and I'd give her a sticker and this was one of Malia's like older ones. And then for Dylan, I picked this up at Target, this like little pack of this leaf pad stuff. And it's actually like, like a to-do checklist, but I, converted it into a potty chart for Dylan. So this was his first chart. So for that first day, um, he went this many times. And then every time he would go, I'd write number one or number two or whatnot, and then the date, and then he would pick the I think the constant praise is what encouraged him the most during that day. Um, by myself and his older sister saying, yay, you went to the potty, let's go get a sticker. And then he would, he would go in the book and like pick his own sticker. And then I would stick it up there for him, give high fives, hugs, kisses, lots of praise. And every time he would go through that whole day or then the next few days after, every time after he was done, he'd say, stickers, stickers, stickers. So that in itself, I knew was working because he was just really excited about getting praise after going to the potty. He felt like a big boy. Potty training at night. So the, for those first initial days, I kept him in either pull-ups or diapers. And I have never bought, I pull-ups are so expensive. So I only bought pull-ups once I started potty training him officially. So I only used the pull-ups um, when we would go out or at night when he would sleep or during naps, just in case he would go while he was sleeping. And luckily enough for, for my experience with him was completely different from the girls. He was able to control it. He would not go ever at night. He would never go at night and would be completely dry or after his nap when he would wake up. So I was lucky in that sense but it was completely different from my other two girls. To elaborate more as far as them going at night, I always limit their liquids before they go to bed and to pee right before going to bed. And if they do need to wear pull-ups or training pants, then let them wear it. But if you start to see that it's always dry in the morning, then they're ready for, for underwear. And then some kids might have to go mid-sleep. I know my second daughter, she always fusses sometimes at night, and I know it's because she has to go potty, so I bring her to the potty. But for my son, for instance, he'll sleep like a baby, and then first thing in the morning, the first thing I ever do is bring them to the bathroom. As far as going number two, it also is a separate step as to helping them recognize, you know, when they have that feeling to go and being able to control themselves before they go on the potty. And it definitely is a challenge, especially with different kids. Every kid is different, like I said. But luckily enough for Dylan, he had a few accidents um, wearing his underwear, but we got through it. I mean, you just have to have patience is the most thing and just constant praise and just um, 
keep in, yeah, keep encouraging your child, um, regardless if they have, you know, one accident a day or several. And for me, that's the only way is that they have to have those accidents um, to learn. It also is another separate challenge if you're going out. So we went out like a couple days during that week and my concern was, oh no, he's gonna revert back to using his diaper um, because we'll be out and about. But it really is about being consistent. So regardless if you're at home or you're out in public, I constantly ask him if he had to go potty. I put pull-ups on him in case, but we would constantly go to the bathroom and it was just, the same thing as it was if you were home, but except that you're outside. And I hate, I mentioned this in another video, but I hate, I know everybody hates public restrooms. They're just hard, it's hard enough going as an adult, but to take your kids. With that said, this is like my best friend when we go out in public. For all three kids, my older ones still use this. So potty toppers are disposable potty seat covers. And I have tried, um, the fold foldable plastic ones and they're just they just harbor so much bacteria I just hate the idea of taking a something taking something home has been on the public toilet you know regardless if you're gonna end up cleaning it or not so this is it a bit pricey this is like 650 for 10 of them but I use one for all three of them at one potty. Not everybody might want to go this route, but for me, this works the best, especially when trying to keep up with potty training and even post potty training. This is like my best, best friend for public restrooms. A separate step for boys is when do they learn to pee standing up? So that was my big question and I never really fully researched it to be quite honest. I just kind of told my husband, can you teach him that? Because I can't teach him that. Can you teach him that? So it was just really to my surprise that within that same week of him potty training, he was able to learn by the end of that week to potty, to potty standing. But how did he learn? So one day when my husband was off, he told Dylan, you wanna go pee pee in the potty like daddy? And he showed him and what helped was having the step stool. So the first time he went, my husband did not realize that we had the step stool, that that could help him, um, so he didn't go. So the second time he took him to the bathroom and said, you want to pee pee standing up like daddy, like daddy. So in his mind, it kept ringing, like daddy, I want to be like daddy. So he stood on top of the uh, step stool, and just like daddy, he went pee pee in the potty standing up. and. My husband might kill me for saying this, but my husband got emotional. He started to, to cry or to tear, and I thought he was laughing at first, and I said, what's the matter? And he goes, he listened to me. He really listened to me. It took two times only. He was like, but he listened to me, and he went. And I was just, I might start crying right now, but he, it was just really nice that he was able to have that moment with his son because it was mainly me with the girls, but for him to have that moment with his only son that he taught him to pee pee, something so silly as to just go standing up, but for him it was just a moment. And yeah, I was just really happy and I don't know if that's how it works for everybody or that quickly. I'm just happy that it was as quick as it was, to be honest. I thought it would take several months until he was going to be able to learn to go standing up, but luckily enough, Dylan wanted to follow in his daddy's footsteps and that was our story and that's how it worked for us. That's basically it. This was kind of all over the place but I hope that it helps you. And don't forget to check out my first video on potty training tips and tricks which I think was a little bit more organized but um, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a follow-up video so I really hope that this helps and please let me know um, if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions that I may not have touched base on that may have worked for you and could help somebody else watching this video just comment them down below so that they can read other mothers experiences I think the best part about doing these videos is not only me sharing my experiences but to hear what your feedback is because even if you don't make videos what you might have to say can help somebody else and that's what this is all about it's just helping each other and getting through the journey of potty training our kids and being diaper free so now i can officially say we are a diaper free household after having 
it for more than five years. So I'm really excited about that. It's like you ever think that one of your joys in life will be when you don't have to buy diapers anymore? Well, yeah, that's one of the joys as a mom. So with that said, I hope this was helpful and I apologize for my raspy voice and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.